Hello everybody and welcome to um, another live English class. Um, my name is Christian and um, yes, this is Kangaroo English. Um, if you have not connected with me on Facebook or on Twitter or on um, Instagram, then please do because in the official Facebook group, on Twitter, on Instagram, it's your opportunity to, to express yourself, okay? It's your opportunity to, well, I created a safe space on the internet for you to um, practice your English, to, to, to share your stories and, and everything. So, um, hello everybody. Uh, hello to Irina, we have, we have Rupinder, um, language challenge. I don't know your name, sorry. Patricia in France, hello. Um, Anup in India, Amakor, Marta in the Basque country, hello. Um, don't call me Billie Jean. <laughs> Max, Lepka, Joyce, Vitali in the Ukraine. Hello, hello. Um, I, I have my morning, my morning coffee. Well, morning. <laughs> Spanish, Spanish morning. <laughs> it's one o'clock. <laughs> um, hello, Amanda. Bruno in Brazil. Um, Vania in Chile. Um, and yes, I have, I have a tattoo. Look, it's an alien. <laughs> because basically, um, next week, uh, our, our English school, we have a summer camp for the children. And we we are going to put tattoos on the children. So this is um, this is made with eyeliner and hairspray. Do you know what this is? Eyeliner and hairspray. Uh, eyeliner, eyeliner. Okay. And so you just draw you draw the picture with eyeliner. And then you put hairspray to, to protect it, and, and and that's it, tattoo. Temporary, temporary tattoo. Uh, okay, so so we have, who else do we have? Stephania. Uh, we have Jesse. Jesse Pham. Hey, Jesse. <laughs> um, Hang, okay. I'm going to try to pronounce this, this Vietnamese name. Hang Nhu Yang Ti Tu. <laughs> It was perfect, right? <laughs> um, Kumari, um, Marcos, hello Marcos. Mapia, Rosangelo, Rosangela, sorry. Um, Sihan in Turkey, Peter Smith in Japan. Peter Smith, is that your real name? I don't think you're Japanese if your name is Peter Smith. <laughs> uh, Jomari, Sukaina, um, Ha Ha Nyan in Vietnam. Um, <laughs> Nicola, hello Nicola. Okay, um, so let's start. Um, today I want to do three things. the The first thing, the first thing is we're going to talk about different tenses. We're going to talk about the future and the present and the past. The first thing. The second thing is I'm going to show you how how to read a book okay so this is this is a quite a big book okay uh, Jonathan Jonathan Franson an amazing writer incredible writer um, I'm going to show you how to read a book you know without using a dictionary basically okay to, to make it easier and the third thing is we're going to do some phrasal verbs about studying because you know, vocabulary for studying is important, it's important. But first we're going to start with a game to warm up, okay, to warm up. So this game is very simple. Uh, this is um, Celebrity Head, okay, see? Now this, this, this app, you can, you can download this, it's free, it's completely free. It's called, um, it's called Heads Up, see, Heads Up. Okay, so, um, and basically, uh, you have a picture on here, and the, you have to describe the picture. You describe the picture, and I guess what the picture is, 
Okay? So, um, where should we start? Let's start with animals. My favorite. Animals. Here we go. So, okay guys, are you ready? Here's the animal. Three. I'm not looking. Okay. Okay. So, what is the animal? Tell me. What is the animal? Um, it has eight arms. Um, <laughs> octopus. Okay. okay, but listen. Don't, don't, tell, don't tell me the name of the octopus. Okay, don't tell me the... Don't write octopus. You have to describe. Describe. Okay, here's the next one. Okay, what's that? Okay, what's that? Who can tell me what that is? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody does this. Uh, it has black hair. A teddy lives in the jungle. It likes honey. A teddy bear! A bear! A bear, yes! <laughs> okay, time's up. Good, guys, good. Now, it's my turn. Let me turn down the music here. It's my turn to describe to you, and you guess what it is, okay? So let's repeat. There we go, play again. So remember, these are animals, okay? Animals. Here we go. Okay, it is an insect. I think, I think it's an insect. Um, it flies. It flies. And it's very beautiful. It has lots, lots of different colors. Multicolored flying insect. No, not a mosquito. A butterfly. Very good, a schwan. Okay, next one. Okay. This, this animal is very big. Enormous. The biggest animal. And now it is extinct. It's totally extinct. It doesn't exist anymore. No, not a whale, because it's extinct. Hey, Alcan, dinosaur. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Oh, this is easy. Um, it's 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 an animal. It lives it lives in the in the in the ocean in the sea. And, um, and it swims, <laughs> you can, you can eat it, uh, very good door daughter, very good door daughter, fish, only fish, just fish, 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 okay, your turn again, this time, this time, Everything begins with the letter B. Okay, everything begins with the letter B. So here we go, you tell me. Three, two, one, I'm looking away. Okay, what is it guys? Describe it to me. Don't use the word, remember you have to describe it. Describe it. Um, <laughs> so don't, 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 so don't, <laughs> Don't tell me what it is. You have to describe it. Ooh. Um, fall. Uh, boy. Fall. Um, a man diving. <laughs> Bear Grylls just dived into the water. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, so we, we have a verb for this, okay? The verb is, well, actually... This, this is not diving, okay? Diving is when you enter the water like, like this, like a beautiful, okay? This is diving. But this, this is belly flop. Mm -hmm. So belly, okay? Belly flop. It's when when you hit the water like like bang really hard. Okay, it's different. It's different from entering the water 
like a beautiful, a beautiful swan, an elegant dolphin. It's boom with your belly. And then, of course, you have the bomb. Uh, a bomb. A bomb is when you jump in the water like like this, and you you make you make a lot of splash. This is a bomb. It's different. Okay, let's try again because that was <laughs> because that was okay. Okay, so everything begins with the letter B. Now remember, don't type the word. Describe the word. Here we go. Let's play. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay, guys, what is it? Tell me. What is the picture? Describe the picture. Um, okay, it's an insect. It loves honey. Okay, bee. A bee. Yes, bees. Okay, next one. Okay. What is it, guys? Tell me. Tell me, what is it? Okay. Um, um, ooh, uh, a bag, things on the floor, a blanket, you use it in winter to warm your neck, um, blanket, blanket, yes, okay, but remember you, <laughs> you, <laughs> You have to describe the word, okay? Describe. <laughs> okay, so um, what? One more thing. Um. Okay. Um, so th <laughs> this 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 is the beehive, okay? This this is the beehive where the bee where the bees live. It's called the hive, and a hive. There's there's lots of activity. No, there's like there's bees flying and there's they're making honey and there's it's so much activity. So you can use this you can use this as a noun to describe something which is very busy. So you could say the bank was a hive of activity. Or you can use it for negative things. Uh, you could say um, um, You could say, for example, the 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 restaurant, the the Italian restaurant with the mafia is a hive of criminals. <laughs> Not, you know, mafia. Please don't kill me. <laughs> uh, okay, now it's your turn. It's your turn to um, your turn to describe for me. Okay. Uh, no, sorry, my, my turn to describe for you. Okay, this is. Things, things around the house, okay? Things in the house. Here we go. Hive of students, absolutely, Joyce. Amanda, the beach is a hive of activity. Okay. Uh, this, this is, um, this is uh, an, an object to, it's an object to entertain children, okay? To entertain children. And... And you you put it, you you put it on your hand, and then you, and then you have da, 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 the different voices, and you entertain the children. Um, <laughs> it could, wow, Yusef, Yusef, very nice. It is a puppet, very good, a puppet. Um, okay, this is a, a an object. Okay, an electrical, an electrical object in your kitchen, and it keeps your food cold. This object is to make your food cold. What is it? What is it? Cold food in your kitchen. Fridge. Very good. Uh, Schwan. 
Juan, Juan. Okay. Uh, what was the first one? I've forgotten already, man. Ah, yes, puppet. Okay, here are some, some words, right? We have puppet and marionette. Now, <laughs> check this out, okay? This, this is my friend, the lion. Hello! <laughs> oh, you're, <laughs> you're the best English teacher in the world. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, this, this, this is a puppet. Okay, because because it goes it goes on your hand. Okay, it's a puppet. Um, uh, a puppet, right? But if 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 it has strings, okay. If you have if you have the strings, then it's a marionette. A marionette. So in English, it's different. Puppet, marionette. And you can see here that we have refrigerator, refrigerator, but most people say fridge because remember that when people speak in general, they are very lazy, very lazy. They want, they want to speak in the shortest, in the shortest way possible, of course. Okay, so... Um, Let's, let's, let's talk about verbal tenses, okay? Verbal tenses. So, I want um, one person to volunteer. Who, who wants to volunteer, please? Okay. David, David Sebuk, you are my volunteer, my friend. Future? Why did I write future? Okay. So, uh, David, uh, David, <laughs> please tell me, please tell me one thing that you did yesterday. One thing you did yesterday. You can, you can invent something if you want, but it's more fun if it's something true. Oh, very nice, David. Errands. Okay. This is a great piece of vocabulary. Errands. Now, who knows what errands means? I don't, I don't think that everybody here in this class knows the word errands. Hmm. Daily routine? No. Uh, daily routine? No. Um, wanderer level? No. An errand is something that you have to do. Um, for example, paying a bill, paying a bill or going to the post office or maybe um, collecting, collecting some papers from the bank. Errands are like little, 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 little jobs you have to do. Now, I'm curious to see what the dictionary says about this. Because I think it's difficult to describe. Difficult to describe. Okay, um, here we go. Errand, Oxford English Dictionary. The, so, just so I can share it with you, it says here... Okay, um, I think you can all have a look at this. Okay, so it says a short journey. So a short journey to deliver or collect something, especially on someone else's behalf. So it's like where you go to deliver or collect something like you go to the bank to take papers or to collect papers. And yes, 
Normally, it's possible not for you, it could be for another person. Okay, errand. Very good, David. Great vocabulary. So, um, okay, David, tell me, tell me one more thing, one more thing you did yesterday. Tell me one more thing, David. Apart from, apart from errands. <laughs> I hope that the errands weren't too horrible. Uh, very good, Vitali. Yes, I'm going... Okay, so, so, errands is not a verb, okay? Errands is not a verb, it's, it's a noun, so you're going to do errands. Um. <laughs> a, bu uh, a burden? <laughs> okay, David had a bath yesterday, very good, okay. Excellent. Okay, now David, so Adela went to watch a film. What, what film did you watch, Adela? Tell me. And, um, okay, David, tell me what you are doing today. Okay, what, what are you doing today? One, one thing that you're doing today. Okay, a local film. You saw a local film. That's good. Was it, was it good? Was it a good film? <laughs> Lenny, Lenny drank some red wine. That is the best thing to do. Uh, at any time. Um, in the morning, at night. <laughs> you know, so cornflakes with, corn flakes with, with red wine. Why not? <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, so Mubarak had a good meeting with his dad. Wow, that's, that's fantastic. Family, family is super important. Um, <laughs> okay, so David, David is in English class. Okay, good, English class. And now, David, final thing, final thing. Two things you will do tomorrow. Two things you will do tomorrow, tell me. Uh, ah, Joyce, Joyce did Zumba. Nice. I, <laughs> I would like to do Zumba, but I think that it's necessary to know, to know how to dance, you know, how to move your body. And I just, you know, I didn't really, I'm not very good at that, <laughs> at dancing. <laughs> um, um, Mubarak had a good lunch. That's good. Bob went to the beach. Oh no, he's going to the beach tomorrow. And Ilan, Ilan will be dancing. Mm. Ah, Fanindra watched Dunkirk. Was it good? I hope it's good. I really do. I really hope it's good. Venu's going to a seminar. Adela's going traveling. Where are you going, Adela? Vladislav is going to the gym and to a marine course. Mm. And Jose is studying and he has a date. Ooh. I hope that it's a hot date, Jose. <laughs> um, okay, David, tomorrow he's going to see his parents and cook and cook a hamburger. Perfect, perfect. Okay. See parents. Okay, excellent. Okay, good. So now we have... Um, <laughs> uh, okay, yes, good. Uh, going to the dentist? Ah, oh, man, I'm sorry, Lenny. Lenny's going to the dentist tomorrow. It's not good. It's not good. But it's going to be okay. Maybe, maybe if you drink a lot of red wine before you go to the dentist... No problems. Ah, uh, because yeah. <laughs> wow, Adela's going to Kuala Lumpur. Very nice. Very nice. Um, okay. So here we have one, two, three. We have five things. Five things. I I want to show you that that tenses tenses in English. You know, there's no like strict rule. Okay, like tomorrow. Hamburgers, so you must use um, 
future. Uh, or tomorrow I, I have the intention to do hamburgers, so you must use no. Okay? Tenses, tenses in English are, are flexible, okay? Depending how you want to express yourself. Express yourself. So first, first let's 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 start. Let's start to talk about the future. Okay, the future. And, and remember that when you talk about the future, the future doesn't exist. Okay, it doesn't exist. So we can only make predictions. We're making predictions about the probability of something happening in the future. Right? So that's why the future is very flexible in English. So let's let's talk about um, when we use the present simple present simple to talk about the future. Okay. Now maybe maybe it seems very strange to use the present simple to talk about the future because present simple. Present simple is something which is true, like I am Australian, I live in Spain, etc. Or, remember, present simple is also a habit, something that repeats all the time. So, when you use present simple to talk about the future, it's when it's something that Repeat. So you are you are predicting it will repeat again tomorrow or in two weeks or in one year. So now give me a sentence. Give me a sentence with hamburgers and present simple. Indicating indicating repetition. Okay? Go. Yes, Venu, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. <laughs> so, yeah, so I want... Uh, okay, Patricia, the car leaves at five tomorrow. I eat hamburgers every day. I eat hamburgers every day. But remember, we don't want to say every day because we are using present simple to talk about the future. Okay? So... For example, let me let me let me um, give you uh, some help. Okay, I rarely eat hamburgers. Okay, so it's it's interesting. It's interesting that that a majority of you are using present simple to talk about habits, but I want to use present simple to talk about the future. Okay, for example, um, um, uh, uh, oh my god, I can't, I can't spell hamburger. <laughs> Okay, so here is an example. Here is an example, okay? If I, if I ask you, um, what, what will you eat tomorrow for lunch? What will you eat tomorrow for lunch? Um, well, I eat hamburgers on Saturday, like always. Okay? So, or, or tomorrow. And, and so because, because it's something because it's something that repeats, and it's strange because you know you're using tomorrow, 
And like always, like always means that it's a habit. Yes, it's a habit. Like always. Okay. I eat hamburgers tomorrow, like always. Okay. So now normally this is restricted to, to things which are very, very programmed, things which are very, um, yeah, scheduled, you know, like trains or buses or uh, like maybe parades or events in your city, you know, things which are a specific day, a specific time, okay? Okay, good, good, good. So, now, a another question. When do we use present continuous to talk about, to talk about hamburgers? Present continuous to talk about tomorrow, when, when do we do this? Okay, so Venu says, I'm going to eat hamburgers. Okay. So, Shwe Yi, I will eat rice and chicken. This is not present continuous. When it's already arranged. Okay. Um, when it's certain that we will eat hamburgers. Um, I, I know, I know that a lot of textbooks... They talk about, like, if it's a plan, or if it's a plan you make in this moment, or um, da da da, but you, ha you, have, you really have to forget this, okay? This, this is not, this, this rule doesn't exist. It does not have any basis in reality, okay? Remember, we are using the tenses to talk about probability, of something happening in the future, okay? So, present continuous for the future is when I see evidence, I see evidence of the future now. Because remember, remember, present continuous is now. So, um, imagine... Imagine if I see you, okay, I see you in the street and you have, you have hamburgers here. You're walking, walking with your hamburgers and I say, what are you doing? Why, why are you eating hamburger? Uh, why are you carrying hamburgers? And you say, well... I am eating hamburgers tomorrow. Very good, Patricia. Or Venu as well. Uh, Adela. Adela also. Okay, but very often is not the future. Very often is a repeating habit, not the future. So, here you can see we are using the present continuous to talk about the future because... because there's, there's evidence. There's evidence now in the continuous. Wow. So, um, Patricia, Patricia's going to eat hamburgers tomorrow. <laughs> Oliver's going to school. I am going to school. Going to. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to s pronounce your name because I don't know the Cyrillic alphabet. Mo Moana, Moana... I'm sorry, um, but you're going. You're going to Cirque du Soleil tomorrow. Wow, fantastic! Your Marta's visiting her mother tomorrow. Um, hello, Seneth. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Naif is eating his hamburgers weekly. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Now. Um, Let's talk about the past. <laughs> yes, Lenny. Lenny's going to the dentist. <laughs> and Ashish is buying a bike next year. Buying a bike. 
Remember the article buying a bike. Okay, so let's talk, let's talk about the past, okay? Let's talk about past perfect, the past of the past. A difficult tense, a difficult tense. So, now remember, remember that past perfect only exists in relation to another time in the past. So, let's start the sentence with bath. I mm. Okay guys, what is the verb? What is the verb for here? I mm, a bath yesterday. Hmm. Very good Lenny. Chris Choi as well. And Luong and Adela some of you are not conjugating your verbs, okay? Verb conjugation, yesterday. So, we can say, we can say had because you can have a bath, or you can say take, took. Very good. Okay, random reviews. We have to, this is, you are using past continuous. I was taking. Now, so here we are, here we are, we are in the past, look, mentally, mentally in the grammar, in the grammar of this sentence, mentally, we are in the past. So now, if, if we want to talk about this, if we want to talk about this, we need past perfect. Who, who can tell me the sentence? Who can give me a sentence in past perfect with errands? Mm -hmm. Errands. No, Joyce, you don't need to put yesterday. This is optional. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Okay, so, um... Okay, Mayela, uh, okay, the problem, the problem is that which verb, which verb do we use with errands, okay? It's not have. You do not have errands. It's a different verb. Okay, the verb is to do. Okay, you do errands. So you need to try again, different verb. Wow, David Sabuk used the passive, I had some errands done before I had my bath. Fantastic, great, great grammatical construction, David. Well done. Uh, Luciene, perfect. I had done some errands. I had had to do my errands. Milena, wow. Ashish, errands are little jobs. Little jobs that you have to do to deliver or collect something. I have done my errands. Marta, this is present, this is present perfect. Imre, very nice Imre. Adela, this is present, you're using the present, okay? We need past perfect. I had done errands. Vitali, very nice, very nice, okay. Yesterday, before I had a bath, I had already done my engagement. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Okay, so you could say, I... I had done errands. Or, I had done some errands, or I had some errands done. Okay? So, past perfect. Now, something interesting, something interesting about past perfect is if, if the past is indicated in the conversation, it's not necessary to have this. Okay? So, um, let me give you, let me give you an example.
Imagine, imagine that you open a book, okay? You open a book and the first sentence is this. This is the first sentence in the book. I had been waiting five hours. This is past perfect continuous, okay? Past perfect. Now, there's no, there's no previous past. There's no other indication of the past. But, as, as a native English speaker, as, or as a person who speaks English really well, you know, mentally, mentally, I process, I process this sentence, and I know that there's something before. As in, there's something more recent. I know if you say, I had been waiting five hours, then there's another thing in the past that happened after. Okay, so it's not always necessary, it's not always necessary to indicate like past simple or past continuous or you can, you can use this, you can use past perfect as a tool to, to create to create the past of the past. So, now it's your turn. Okay, it's your turn. I want you to give me a sentence in past perfect. Okay, past perfect. And I will complete the story. I will finish the story. Okay, so, here, use, use this word. Meadow. So use this word meadow to create a sentence in the past perfect and I will finish the story. Okay? Now, who knows what meadow is? What a great word, meadow. Okay. A meadow is a, a field, a place with grass, okay? A place with grass and Lots of little flowers. Okay, look, Google, meadow, images. Okay, for example, I mean, you get the idea, right? This is a meadow, see? Flowers, grass, grass, flowers, okay? This is a meadow. Okay. Okay, we have, we have the first sentence here from... From, 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 from Imre, I had cut meadow, so I... I had cut the meadow, and now I will finish. I... Oops. Oh. <laughs> I had cut the meadow. I was exhausted. So now I know that this is before this. Okay? I'm 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 using I'm using past perfect to 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 structure to structure time. <laughs> okay, so um I had been to visit a meadow. Jean Michel, I had been to visit a meadow. Um it was the most beautiful meadow in the world. Um, I was in a meadow, I was in a meadow with my girl. Very good, Dion. Having cut the meadow, I felt exhausted also. But this is, this is a different type of construction. Okay, totally. Um, Reem, I had walked on the meadow. It was a beautiful day. Walking on walking the other day in Busturia, I had seen a lot of horses. Why? Why? Mm. There was uh, a festival of horses in my town. I had irrigated the meadow before you called me. Very nice, Carlos. Very nice. Okay, another one. Past perfect. Test tube. Test tube. Yes, I have a tattoo. It's an alien. <laughs> it's, it's not a real tattoo. <laughs> it's temporary. 
test tube. Hey, this, um, this, this reminds me of a really bad joke in English. Do you want to hear my joke? Ready? Okay. What's this? Grr, grr, grr. It's a terrorist. Terrorist? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, test tube. Um, test, <laughs> test tube. Let me show you a picture of a test tube. This. Okay. This is a test tube. Okay? The test tube. Okay, uh, Chris Choi says, um, uh, okay, who's the first one here? Ooh, 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 okay. Um, no, Venu is the first one. I had broken the test tube. Ah, I had broken the test tube. Let me write on the board. Um, I had broken the test tube. Um, I had broken the test tube. I was covered in acid. Ah, I, I'm melting. <laughs> bad story. Bad story. Okay. Um, no, the tattoo's not good. Tat bad tattoo. Mario, Mar I had broken the test tube, yes. I was... Um, the laboratory was on fire. <sighs> Vitali, I had performed a pressure test on the test tube. Vitali, you forgot two articles. I had performed a pressure test on the test tube. And... And... The, it... It exploded in my face. <laughs> it's a bad, a bad day in the laboratory for me. Okay, uh, Jesse, Jesse, this is not past perfect. Okay, not past perfect. Chris Troy, good. Um, uh, hello, hello, can we go? He done the, He had done Mayella. He had done the experiment in the test tube. Um, he created no. Um, yeah, he created a t terrible monster. <laughs> um, Habibur, I had been working with a test tube in my pathology room. And then I discovered the cure for... The cure for um, lion, lion hand disease. Oh my god, my hand is a lion! Oh! Help me, please, somebody. <laughs> I've, I've had too much coffee today. Too much coffee. Okay. Um, very nice. Very nice, guys. Okay, Stephen. Stephen broke his, his thingies. Wow, that's not good, Stephen. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Um, now, yeah, listen, it's not... Um, it's not always necessary to use past perfect and present simple. You could use past perfect and past perfect and past perfect to continue to go back in the past, to go back in time. So, I had broken the test tube. I had... I had been experimenting. Um, It had been a disaster, so we, we are going back and back in time, before and before and before. Every time we use past perfect, we're going back in time. So this is the first, the most recent, and this is the oldest, okay? Okay, now, yes, too much sugar. <laughs> now, I, I, said, I said at the beginning of the class, I would show you how to read a book how to read a book without a dictionary. And, and you know, you can do this, okay? I know. So, so here, here I have my book, Jonathan Franz and Purity. So, um, now, 
I, I am going to read a sentence from the book and in this sentence there is a complicated word, okay, a difficult word. And I want you to use your, your brain, think, think about the context of the sentence. Think about what does the word mean in the context, okay? Let's have a look. So, um, he went back to the town square, hoping to find her again. He searched the crowds until nightfall to no avail. So, this is the word, okay? To no avail. So let's, let's, let's analyze the context, okay? What is he saying? He's saying, I went, I went to the town square hoping, hoping to find her. I searched, I searched the crowds, but to no avail. Very good, very good, Venu, with no use. Fantastic. No use. Or, Carlos says, no success. Fantastic, fantastic. Aline, Aline, that's, that's really good, okay? Using, using your brain and thinking about the context is, is really important when you, um, when you, you know, when you're trying to, um, let me just do this. You know, when you're, when you're learning, when you're reading a book. Uh, so, for some time? For some time, no. Uh, okay, so another, yeah, Naif says, without a benefit. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, like, you could, you could say, oh, I tried, I tried to lose weight, but to no avail, to no, no benefit. Okay, let's look at the next one. Let's look at the next one. Okay. And this is the same, the same paragraph. Okay, so. He was afraid he would lose her. Lose her permanently if he pestered her with questions. Tested. So what do you think from the context? He was afraid he would lose her, lose her permanently if he pestered her with questions. Hmm. Vanessa, very nice. Vanessa, I like this. Carl, yes, annoy, exactly, annoy. Or, um... Yeah, Carlos says, make a lot of, yeah. Yes, if you, like, a lot, like, annoying, like, nye, 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 nye. you're pested, like a, like a pest, no, like a rat or a mosquito, like a pest, pest, pest. Uh, to do a lot, exactly, to annoy, to, oh, very good, Lenny, great synonym, bother. To bother is another, another synonym for annoy. Great work. Keep drinking red wine. <laughs> it's, it's having a great effect. Um, wow, Ashish says grizzle. Interesting. This, this word grizzle, okay, is, is a very Australian word. Grizzle. And it means to complain, complain like, f uh, like repeating, okay, imagine, imagine that, you know, you're, you are uncomfortable, the, the chair, the chair is uncomfortable, 
and you're sitting in the chair going, oh, this chair's so uncomfortable and I don't like this chair and I wish I had a different chair and ah, oh, this, <laughs> I hate this. You're grizzling. Grizzling. Eileen says, harass. Mm, very nice, harass. Harass, yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. Harass. Great, okay, let's look at another one. You guys are really, you guys, or nag. You, you guys have some incredible synonyms here. Nag, nice, I like it, nag. Nag, again, nag is, is a word like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Re Reese, <laughs> no, no. okay, um, okay, let's have a look. Let's, let's, um, I'm looking, I'm looking for a word. I'm, I'm not staring into space. I'm looking for, <laughs> I'm not, I'm looking for a word. Okay, um, let's have a look. Um, Mm, wow, hey look, shredding, huh? Shredding. Do you remember we learned this word in the previous shredding? See, it's here. Wow, wow. okay. Um, 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 I'm looking for a, I'm looking for a, for a, for a good, a good sentence. Um, okay. Okay, this this guy this guy is is a good is a, is a really good writer. I mean, his his text is very beautiful. Okay, so um, let let me read let me read the um. <laughs> let, okay, let let me read the, uh, the 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 sentence. Okay, so um, where where is it? Okay, so um. Okay. He he stood in the doorway and looked at her. She was perilous <laughs> she was perilously thin but smartly dressed and generally well put together. Mm. Okay, so uh, I think there's some interesting vocabulary, okay? Any ideas, guys? Any ideas? So let me read again. So um, he, he stood in the doorway and looked at her. She was perilously thin, but smartly dressed and generally well put together. Hmm. So, yes, very good, guys. Very good. Excellent. So, so yes, Rani. Um, extremely, extremely no. Ashish, very good. Dangerous. So, you know, perilously means, means it's to talk about danger. So she's dangerously thin. She could be anorexic. Okay. So yes, extremely, I mean, yes, the meaning is extremely thin. Very, very thin. Very, very thin. Unbelievably thin. Very nice. Unbelievably thin. Um, and what about this, guys? What about this one? She's, but, okay, but... But smartly dressed and well put together. Put to, what, what does this mean, put together? If somebody looks put together. Yes, very nice, 1953 emo, suit well. To match Mario Mario, match, very good, dressed.
combination. Great, exactly. So, so we, we are talking about, you know, your makeup is good, the hair is good, the clothes are good, she's well put together. We take, we take the elements, the individual elements, and we put them together and she looks good. But it doesn't necessarily mean she's attractive. Doesn't mean, but all of the elements, her clothes, her makeup, her hair, the color, the style is together. Um, very good guys, very good. Amazing students. I have an absolutely amazing group of students here. Um, so I didn't, I didn't have time to talk about idioms for student, no, phrasal verbs, sorry. Phrasal verbs for student life. I'm sorry. Um, but in the next class, we will start with, with these phrasal verbs of our student life, okay? So, yes, next time, next time you're reading a book, you know, um, try, try putting the dictionary away and using context and you will, you, you will do it because it's too boring otherwise. <laughs> um, okay, um, so I have to go, I'm sorry. Please connect with me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram because in the Facebook group, you can share your English, okay? You can, you can share your English in, in a safe space, okay? You can produce, you know, poetry or, or a video recording or, or anything, okay? And, and share it with, with thousands of people from all over the world who, who will give you positive energy. It's all about positivity no negativity. Um, so yes, I hope, I hope that you will all come to the group, produce something and share it with me because it, it makes me happy and it's good for you. <laughs> okay, uh, so yes, thanks guys. Lots of love. Um, I'm Christian. This is Kangaroo English and I'll, I'll see you in class. Bye. Tattoo, alien. <laughs> Bye.